Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. A lot of you ask about comparison videos, create more comparison videos. You're thinking about two frames, what makes this one different? Why should I buy that one over this one? Will it suit my style? Will it suit my level? And so on. So it's an important uh, part of the content uh, that kind of tennis influencers, whatever we want to call us, ourselves can do. Um, and it's also important in making the right decision about the racket. And this time I want to talk about the V-Core 98 from Yonex versus the ESO 98. And uh, I got a question from John, uh, one of my patrons. Like these rackets are so close. If you look at the specs, what is the real difference between these frames? And could you buy either one and you get the same performance? And uh, I have them both here, um, V-Core, E-Zone. The V-Core is the Yonex Spin Series, the E-Zone is the Power Series. Uh, if we look at the string patterns of these two frames, it's gonna be a very slight difference. It's gonna be that this one is a little bit more open to create more spin, more room to grab the ball and this one is a little bit more closed, so it's gonna give you a more flat trajectory. This is not a spin machine, uh, but it gives you nice power and some spin. This is more focused on spin, and the string pattern is one thing, a little bit more open string pattern, a little bit different profile. If you look at the, the, the throat area here, you can see on the E-Zone that it looks uh, quite different from what it does on the V-Core. And the V-Core has kind of a more traditional beam design and uh, this one is supposed to be a bit more aerodynamic in terms of spin generation. A, a spin racket is usually all about aerodynamics, open string pattern and more movement on the main strings. That's very important to have more string movement to create more action on the ball. Uh, more action on the strings, more action on the ball. That's a, a very logical fact. And uh, the thing they've done here is that they have extended, like so many other brands do, extended the movement of the main strings with these indents. So they have what some brands call spin grommets, where the, there is more stuff happening in the main strings than uh, in the cross strings and then in other rackets. This has a bit of a shorter uh, grommet, so a bit of a shorter main string. Another thing to you notice about rackets that's good to keep in mind, this one has six string holes. Um, three times two, four in the throat, four times two, so eight string holes. Eight center mains here, six center mains here. It's a good way to understand the string bed and, and the racket construction. So more open pattern, more movement of the main strings, a little bit more aerodynamic design. They also have these uh, shark fins indents. Not sure what they do. I think it's also supposed to be aerodynamic properties involved here. Uh, while the E-Zone is a little bit different in that sense. Uh, if we look at the beam profile, they're pretty much uh, the same. Not much of a difference. Power levels are also quite similar, I would say. If you look at the stiffness of these frames, they're both around the mid-60s. So I wouldn't say it's a big difference in power level. Uh, you get a bit flatter trajectory with the E-Zone, a bit more spinny and launchy trajectory with the V-Core. So what makes the specs different of the E-Zone versus the V-Core? If we look at the Tennis Warehouse website, for example, the E-Zone, 305 grams on strong, same as the V-Core, standard length, 27 inches, 98 square inch head size, all the same there. The balance is six points headlight with strings. Uh, it's around 32.4 centimeters. And on strong, nine points headlight. So you add strings and then it, it drops, of course. Uh, stiffness, 64 of the E-Zone. 66 of the V-Core is a little bit stiffer, uh, get a little bit more power, but the swing weight is lower on the E-Zone. It's a little bit faster to swing, a bit more um, easy to get through the air in that sense. So that's 317 on their measured, but it's very close to what I measured on my machine as well. The beam on the E-Zone 23, 24 and 19 millimeters. So that's a bit different, string pattern 16, 19. If we look at the V-Core, the beam width on the V-Core is 22.5, 23 and 21 millimeters. So overall a more even width, but still different in all the three places of the cross section. Balance is the same, weight is the same, swing weight is a little bit higher, stiffness is a little bit higher. Yeah, but there you have it. They're very similar rackets. They're both quite muted, uh, thanks to the VDM vibration dampening mesh that's in the handle of these frames. Um, a little bit too muted uh, for my taste personally. Uh, but some players love it. Um, I tried the E-Zone and the V-Core together with uh, two tennis guys in Malta. They're playing, uh, they, one guy is an ex-Davis Cup player, one guy plays for the Davis Cup team locally here. 
and uh, they were quite taken by both rackets but the ESO 98 stood out for one of the guys because it was just very fast easy power and uh, yeah he wanted to make the switch straight away from his Pro Staff 97 so he was pretty impressed by the ease of use of this E zone. Uh, the V core is more of a spin oriented player the other guy who plays with more of a top spin game felt like the V core suited his game a little bit better he's a pure arrow VS user and he he's not gonna make a switch but he actually appreciated the the feel and the performance of the V core a bit more than the E zone. So that's how they appeal, like if you uh, want to hit like flat with a lot of pace, the E-Zone is your choice. If you want to play more with top spin, get more depth and uh, have a bit of a higher launch angle over the net, the V-Core is your friend. So two solid racket choices. I prefer the E-Zone because I have a flatter game, but I can see why players would like the V-Core 98 as well. Which racket would you choose? Would you go E-Zone? Would you go V-Core? We should not forget the V-Core Pro, which is the more control-oriented, prestige-style Pro Staff uh, line from Yonex. Also good rackets, a little bit more low-powered, a little bit plusher in feeling uh, than these frames, which are more powerful. And if you want to go even more towards the power scale with a bit of a bigger sweet spot you go for the 100 square inch versions not as fast through the air not as controlled but they will give you more power and more spin both the vcore 100 and the e zone 100 i prefer the 98s and i prefer the e zone 98 uh, probably out of all these the vcore 95 is what i gravitate towards it's kind of a, a bit of a different frame it's it's a bit of weird that it's a spin frame with a smaller head size uh, that's been there for generations and uh, it's still a good frame, although this one was a bit more muted. You can check out the review on tennisnerd.net and uh, YouTube, of course. That's all for this video. I hope you find it useful. Please click like, share and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you know when I upload new stuff. If you need help finding a tennis racket, get a Tennis Nerd consultation at tennisnerd.net. And please consider joining Patreon. It's quite cheap. You get loads of content every week chat function and so on and uh, I hope to make it worth your while. That's all, have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.